that's my four by four. There's three or four of them out there. <laughs> I almost forgot to start filming. I'm always excited about starting a new project and I get in and I start making it and I think, oh, I wanted to film this. And I usually end up just filming the finished product, but I stopped myself this time and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna, this is a Pinterest inspired. I'm always going through Pinterest and seeing things I like. And I found these candles, candle holders, and I want to make some for my house. So I'm going to make two different versions. I'm going to make the rustic and then the not, you know, just more of a farmhouse style. But I started with the rustic. And what it is, is just a four by four post. And I, I took it and cut it in three different sizes. And please don't pay any attention to my craft room. I'm, it's full of stuff and I'm always working on something. Anyways, the four by four post. And I just cut them various sizes. I just start chopping on it. And then I wanted three sizes. So, uh, to color them, I wish I had left ones. Well, they were this, this color here. So I took this gel stain that I have. And actually, I would have just used paint, brown paint, watered down. And I even watered this down some. I don't even know if they make this. I've had this probably, I don't know how many years goodness but I would use if I didn't have this I would have just used some uh, watered down paint and I just I didn't even try to cover it totally just you know hitting it because it wants I want it to look old I don't know am I getting it I'm trying to hold the camera and do this too and then let it dry thoroughly. And it looks more like old wood. That's what I'm, so I'm gonna finish doing these other two and then I, from there I'll come back and I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. All right, my uh, wood has dried. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take, I took a little bit of this uh, Waverly mineral and one of these type brushes. And I'll just dip it into the paint. Let's put this down. And then I kind of wipe it off on a paper towel. Make sure I'm in frame. And I just do this. Gives it the weathered look. I don't want a whole lot, I want it to look natural. Okay. Oh, that went a little heavy, but that's okay, it looks good. Just stop right there. I like that. Makes it look old. Okay, do a little bit on the top because that's going to be really covered. I'll do one more. It doesn't take very long. Okay, I like the way that's turning out. It just looks like old wood. 
and I'll be right back and I'll show you what I'm going to do for the tops. Okay, this is how I'm going to do. I started on it because I almost stopped. I almost forgot to film again. The little candle holder top. I'm using a nutmeg because it's kind of a rusty looking color because I want to make this look rusted. And I'm going to put a base coat of it on my lid top. And I'll probably have to give this two coats. So I'll let it dry in between and give it another coat. Okay. Give it the first coat. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll come back, give it a second coat, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do from there. So I'll be back. All right, the lids are dry and I'm sure a lot of you has already seen this, but just in case, I'm gonna show it anyway. I'm putting a coat of Mod Podge on the lid And I don't really need a lot on the inside because it's where the candle or whatever you put in on top will be. Okay, did I get everything coated? Yep, well, I believe so. All right, from there, I'm going to set that aside, get a plate, and I'm going to sprinkle cinnamon on it. Gives it a rusty, a real rusty look. Looks real. Okay, and sprinkle it on the inside. Move it around. I hope I'm doing this in frame. All right. There, that really does look like rust. Alright, now, when this dries, let me grab one of my blocks. When this dries, I will glue it on top of that. Alright, I got some uh, different things that I've picked up thr while I was thrifting and we was fixing an old house in town and I had some knobs in there I picked up, and these are to go on the front of the uh, candle block. So, I thought, not sure what I'm going to do with that, but this one I had already started putting a little bit of the turquoise. I have some turquoise paint, kind of put a little patina on them, and I'm just going to take it. Just kind of go around the edges a little bit, then dab it off to where it's not too much, too bright. I don't want to bright. I just want it to look kind of natural. You know how copper gets the patina. Like I said, I don't want too much. Get it down in the crevices. Okay, I 
think that's enough. Don't want a lot. All right, that's the way that'll look, and I think I'm going to leave it looking like that. And this was just an old metal bow I got from somewhere. And I think I'm going to put that on the medium-sized one. This will go on the large. This will go on the medium size. And I think I'll give it, see what it does with just a little bit of that on there, too. Yeah, just a little bit. And I hope I'm in frame. the way that looks. Okay. I don't know if it needs any maybe kind of right in there. I don't know. That's just enough. I don't want too much. All right, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna, uh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. My husband come in and was needing something, so had to go find something for him. And I kind of believe on these here, I think I'm going to leave that the way it is because actually it's kind of has a copper look and it, it fits right in with that. I'm not going to do anything with this one. And, like, let me see if I can move this. Like, I will put that. I hope I'm in frame. Let me check. And I come down a little bit. That's the way it's going to look with the. Can you see that? That on top. And once I get it all put together, all these put together, and with the candles in them and everything, I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. I got them finished, all put together, the knobs and the bow on, and got, found my candles. And I like the way they turned out. Yeah, and there's the knob I left. I left it just the way it was. I didn't change anything about it. And there's the tallest one. And then the one with the metal bow. And to me, these are a rustic, like the rustic farmhouse. The next ones I'm gonna do, they're gonna be the more, I guess the modern farmhouse. Be a little bit different, but along the same principle. And when I, <coughs> excuse me, when I get that finished, I'll show you, or I might take you along while I'm doing those also. I don't know. But that's how it turned out. And I like them. All right, y'all. Until the next one, we'll see you later.